This is Joseph Russell with the Daily Homes and Sports Report. As the Memphis Tigers prepare to take on the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles in this weekend's homecoming contest, first-year coach Josh Pastner has stressed the importance of every fan coming out for support. As he said all season, the fans are their sixth and seventh men on the court, and FedEx Forum is sure to be filled to the top this Saturday. As Coach Larry Stacy's squad comes into the FedEx Forum Saturday, they're led by junior forward Gary Flowers, who leads the Golden Eagles in scoring and rebounding at 15 points and 8 rebounds per game. The 6'8 junior is sure to give junior forward Will Coleman a lot of trouble down low, mainly because Coleman has struggled this season against more dominant opponents. The last time the Tigers and Golden Eagles faced off was January 9th earlier this season. The Tigers went to Hattiesburg, Mississippi and just managed to escape with a 59-57 victory. It took two free throws from senior guard Willie Kemp with five seconds left on the clock to beat the Golden Eagles. Elliott Williams once again led the Tigers in scoring with 33 points. With just three games remaining until the Conference USA Tournament, Pastors stress the importance of not taking any minute they have guaranteed for granted. With just three games left, that means they have 120 minutes guaranteed on the floor. But is it wearing on the Tigers? They have at least six players playing more than 20 minutes per game, while the Golden Eagles have nine players averaging 10 minutes per game. Will the Tigers be worn out by the end? Is it going to be a war of attrition? That remains to be seen. But Williams isn't the only one scoring for the Tigers. They have three other players averaging at least 10 points per game. Wesley Weatherspoon, Robert Sally, and Willie Kemp all average double digits. But here lately, they've been receiving more help from Angel Garcia, Drew Barham, and DJ Steffens, all who step in and contribute in the limited minutes they play. If the Tigers hope to win, they're going to have to rely heavily on Coleman down low. He's going to have to limit Flowers on both scoring and rebounding, and since the Tigers don't have any other true post player, Coleman's going to have to limit his foul trouble. Tigers have to get out in transition and score quickly if they hope to win this one. For the Daily Homes and Sports Report, your on-campus source for Tiger sports.